Welcome to the Graviteam Tactics DLC Shield of the Prophet. We've played this a lot and I once again want to go ahead and have a battle here. Now this is of course taking place in the uh, Soviet-Afghan War and it looks like in this one we're actually supposed to be on the defensive uh, but we've got a few tanks over on this side and we've also got a few tanks over here near Cyrus 3. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll actually take some of the units here. We're going to put these guys over there as well. And we're going to do a probing attack. We'll actually move forward with some of these units. Uh, I'll actually grab this guy. So it's an armored car. I think it's a Puma armored car, if I'm not mistaken, and this guy. And we're going to leave the rest of them behind. So if we need to, of course, respond, we're going to be prepared for that. Um, and if we need to just stay put and absorb as much damage as possible, then we'll do that as well. So these guys are going to move forward here. Let's go ahead and get that started. Pretty much just going to order them straight to Cyrus 3 and we'll react with the situation as it unfolds. So best of luck to our Soviet friends here. I'm hoping we can take these locations quickly and efficiently. And I'm going to go ahead and immediately do just actually a hunt maneuver here. Uh, so that they'll move forward and essentially begin firing at anything that seems suspicious. As always friends, we'll return when the combat begins here in Graviteam Tactics. Enemy contact established at Cyrus 3. We're not exactly sure what we're looking at yet, but our boys are definitely ready for the fight. I'm actually going to try to stop Ajmyatnov right here. I don't think he should go anywhere. I'm actually going to have him dismount so that we'll have some infantry with us as we approach. Hopefully it's just going to be Mushadin infantry, but there we go. Our, our troops are getting out and hopefully engaging uh, the enemy right here. Some additional enemy contacts. All the way back here, we've got some APCs to deal with, and it does look indeed like they're going over there to that location. We've got a tank near our other location here. But for now, let's focus on our offensive. Let's take out the rest of the infantry. Move it, boys. Move it, move it. I'm glad we uh, dismounted that infantry unit. I think that's going to be quite important. We can also dismount these guys. Let's do it. Um, just because we're probably approaching quite a few enemy infantry units here. Good shooting! And it looks like, no, those are going to be Iranian um, soldiers, for sure. Those are their Iranian volunteers. Light them up, boys. Light them up. Let's take a look over here, because now we've got enemy tanks bearing down on us. They're all over the damn place. Um, we're going to get Kamenko and Kukolskish over here prepared. Let's get Kamenko over here. We'll have him hunt out this way. And Tripolskish, we're going to have him hunt forward. He should already be able to spot that guy. Nice, nice. We're getting some shots on those tanks. That tank cannot be allowed to survive. It's a Centurion, and there we go. We destroyed the Centurion tank. Beautiful kill there. Got rid of the crew as well. That's the kind of results we're looking for, folks. Of course, we still have some APCs here, and we're still advancing on the position. Let's see how our boys are doing. Couldn't be better, really. Really couldn't be better. Where are the infantry? Hello, boys. Just mopping up the area at this point, and key point has been taken. We've taken Cyrus 3. Now we want to swing up on this road where they began this attack. Uh, so let's just grab these guys right here, and we are going to swing up this way with a full assault. More enemy contact. It's going to have to be... Oh, it's at Cyrus 3. Okay. So we might have some guys here in the gully that we have to deal with. We did unfortunately lose a tank right there. That is not something you want to see. So they could potentially have some more armor there. I'm starting to see some more APCs. There could definitely be some additional armor. Big boss gauge. Let's see if we spot anything. And with Gimenko, I'm going to actually advance this way. So we'll attack with Gimenko over here. These guys are firing away with those mortars. That's beautiful. Let him have it, boys. We've got some more enemy contacts. Just want to get like a perfect visual here. Let's see. It looks like just a bunch of APCs rolling up here. So definitely um, an improvised assault there. We just wasted one of them with a perfect tank hit. We just want to stop this improvised assault immediately. Let's see how the rest of our tanks are coming along. 
They are advancing. They're approaching pretty quickly. They should be on scene. Animov gets the rest of them. That APC, man. Just a bevy of APCs. Good shot. It's got to be a kill. Again, the idea here is just to stop their assault with this counterattack. So far, things seem to be working out very well. Although, maybe it's best we stop Aminov uh, or one of these guys and continue firing. Although, it looks like we're doing fine. Look at that. We took out the APC. In fact, we took out several APCs. And now, of course, the enemy is asking for a ceasefire. We can't accept a ceasefire when we're on a roll like this. Just no way. We're going to keep on fighting until they're decimated. attack is going just remarkably well, I must say, this one right here. Um, I was going to say maybe we could take this guy and charge, but I don't even think we should. We need to leave the position, basically. Uh, we're fine with the position we have, so let's keep it going and let's root out the rest of the terrorists. Insurgents, whatever politically correct word you want to use. And they're actually choosing to continue the battle. So that's got me a little worried. That's definitely got me a little worried. Usually they only choose to continue the battle if they actually think they have a chance at victory. That's not good. Just making sure that everybody is on the same page here. Again, asking for that ceasefire. So they took that back pretty quickly. Let's get a look at the troops they have here. Quite a few infantry, and it looks like a few more APCs hiding over here. Um, I definitely want to try to take out as many of these vehicles as possible. Also, just for our troops that are coming to the Afghan theater in the future here. I want to make sure they don't have to deal with these annoying APCs. And I also want to find out what the hell killed our tank. Um, because he was alive when we killed that first tank. That leads me to believe they might have some more armor over here. And a Boskage. Assault. In fact, we'll have him hunt. Yeah, we shouldn't pull any punches at this point. I'm gonna grab every single one of the guys on this side, and we are gonna launch a good old-fashioned Soviet assault. Full attack. still in the fight and haven't just completely surrendered. Um, just a bunch of actual infantry moving here. I'm trying to see if I see an ATGM. He's got an RPG. See that? We've got one guy with an RPG already. So obviously taking him out is going to be priority number one. Manogov. Be careful. that Army Anamov here is doing an amazing job with his tank. Just great. We need more. We need a better job. More enemy contacts once again. It's going to be just uh, pretty much the units retreating, I think. Uh, they do still have those APCs, but they have not moved them back at all. So they can't really retreat this way to Akamanin because there's a river here. Uh, it would be pretty tough to cross it. But I'm hoping I'm going to force them to do that. Now, they did just get a hit here on Lashimin and killed him. Actually killed our commander just part of the dangers of being in Afghanistan. That RPG went right through the side. So, it leads me to believe that they probably have some guys who work on this side as well. Um, in fact, we're targeting almost entirely the Akamanid side, so maybe they have already crossed uh, that river. Look at that! They're trying to make it across. They are definitely trying to make it across with a few of these units. Good shot. No chance at all for that guy. Looks like we have spotted with our tanks maybe a few more infantry units. We took out, of course, the APC, and indeed, they are retreating. Almost certainly is that. No, Dishikov, oh, one of our own men is retreating. We're going to have to let uh, KGB know about that. That's unacceptable. Dishikov pulling back, but of course, he is taking hits from this area. That's why he's deciding to pull back. got to be careful here, guys. Light them up. They're all there. This would be a perfect time to just light them up. If 
Fire at will. It's not going to matter if they have any more tanks as long as we can deal a severe blow to their infantry. So I'm actually thinking we'll grab our, uh, one of our tanks, not both of We still actually have a few infantry here that our tanks can deal with. But I'm going to take, th take this guy and I'm going to hunt in that direction. So let's try to flank any escaping troops. If you guys would like to see a battle like this uh, from the Afghan perspective and you made it this far in the video, either one of those, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, as we get closer to this clump of infantry, we are, of course, more susceptible to their RPG fire. Like uh, Aminov actually has some defense here directly coming from our APC, our burned up APC. He can kind of take cover here from the enemy RPGs. Most of them are, of course, taking cover. Look at that RPG again. No, 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 he doesn't have an RPG. Never mind, never mind. So again, this is why we left Dukovskis here. He still has work to do. Gotta be careful because Shablikov, um, you know, of course we dismounted him a while back. He's very far from the battlefield, but even now they're taking fire um, from all the way over here. So the enemy fire is not completely being suppressed. I do think though that if this continued fire, we're eventually gonna start taking out more and more of the enemy. They're gonna have to retreat. You can see them actually falling back right there. Look at that. Look at them running in terror. Explosion already wounded one of them. Look at that, guys. A little bit of shrapnel from the uh, APC explosion here. He's fixing up his arm. Shoot them. Shoot them, boys. He might just get away. He's getting that bandage on. And as you can see, he's pretty far from the front lines. Oh, there we go. We're lighting him up again. Like shooting in this general direction. Got him, but we're definitely trying to shoot in this general direction. Get him, and there he goes. <coughs> now, thankfully, we've got Gimenko right here. Just killed his buddies, and Gimenko can just really do a number on any enemies here in the area. Look at that, guys. The Soviet army is here. We shall not surrender. Just look at that grouping. Prisoners captured. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. They're finally starting to realize they can't win this one. Although, for this group, it's too late. There's only one of them that we're going to capture. The rest are dead. He be, may very well be hit by our actual machine gun fire. If we're not careful here. We may have lost one of our commanders there. That's never good. I wonder if it's Shaikov. Let's see. No, no, no. It's going to be the tank over here. Wow. They took out the other tank. Look at this, guys. That's why they didn't uh, go for, didn't continue the ceasefire. It looks like they certainly could still win the battle. Although we are doing dramatic damage. We see the tank. I see the tank. I see that enemy tank over there. That is creepy, guys. we got to go over there with Stupid. For sure, I see that bit of armor. That's what's been causing us trouble. It's what's been killing some of our tanks. Let's see if we can't go ahead and take care of them. really our main issue. I really think that tank is, so I am going to go ahead and attack our salt over here and try and locate that other uh, bit of armor. Is Tishikov still alive? Let's see. Tishikov might be okay. We might still have another operational tank. So I'm going to do the same with him. Since he ran like a coward initially. Nope, he is not coming back to that fight. He definitely is not coming back to the fight. 
Fingers crossed, boys and girls. The moment of truth. Kimenko is, of course, just making quick work of the enemy here. But I want to make sure that Shkupin is looking forward. Because that's where the enemy tank is going to appear. He really needs to change that trajectory and stop focusing on the infantry. Please don't be the tank. Oh, Dishakov has retreated. He has truly retreated. So he not only left the battle initially, or retreated from the battle initially, he's now retreating from the actual battlefield. Maybe he's going to try to cross the border into uh, into Iran, for all we know. Because from Afghanistan, I just don't know what's going to happen. Trying to escape the Soviet Union, I see. All right, there's that tank. There's that tank. <coughs> Come on, Stupin. I don't even know if we can get him from here. We might need to move up a bit. Because he's a bit low, as you can see. He's in a very nice position on this side of the river. We may need to move forward, actually. We're gonna order a hunt. So as soon as he spots that tank, he's gonna open fire. And look at that. It seems we've cleared out this area almost ex almost entirely. I really do want to send the tank to Akamene to steal it, but he could get stuck in this river here, so I'm not gonna risk it. What I am gonna do is send Armenchov. Sounds like he could be Turkmen even, and send him over here to Akamene. Uh, we'll just do a fast move. Here we go. There we go. It begins. Stupin, please don't mess up. Please don't mess up, Stupin. Come on, come on, come on. It's a hit. Direct hit. Direct hit. Question is, is it enough? Another tank. Another tank. My goodness. We've got two enemy tanks here, guys. Sud three enemy tanks, suddenly that ceasefire doesn't seem like such a bad idea. We've also got Kiminko approaching as well. He's going to be spotting those two. So I'm going to have him uh, assault over here. But the fight has begun. Stopin is, re is returning fire over here. As you can see, the vehicle lost. That's going to be Stopin for sure. That's going to be Stopin for sure. We got one of them. We got very lucky in that we got one of them. Uh, right through the side, but they did the exact same thing to us. Man, this really turned into a true battle. I mean, it turned into a true battle. There's that tank. Better get him, Kamenko. going to be a kill. Two commanders killed on our side. Never a good thing. Come on, get another shot. Get another shot. Let's have a look. Can't see much. Really can't see much. Enemy retreats. They did retreat. Thank goodness. Um, I was getting terrified that we were going to have to fight without tanks there. This would have been our last tank, um, but I think they just want to save the rest of their armor. They have a piece right there they're going to be able to save unless Kameko gets a shot right now. Come on, Kameko. Come on. Come on. Oh. Right, at least he took out some of the retreating infantry, but the tank is going to be able to get off the battlefield. Uh, and, of course, the crew of the previous tank is retreating as well. Wow. Fascinating battle, guys. I think it was a glorious victory. Uh, looks like killed. We had 15 on our side. The enemy had 59 killed on their side and two wounded. The only crazy thing is that we had no wounded on our side, just killed. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to get notifications for my videos, you've got to hit that bell next to the subscribe button or else YouTube probably won't let you know about them. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next battle.